Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. I'm Carrie Williamson, filling in for Kara today. Do you ever feel like your life is out of control? Our next guest is here with some tough love to help us get unstuck. We welcome the author of Black Sheep, Unleash the Extraordinary, Awe-Inspiring, Undiscovered You, Brant Menswar. Hi, Brant. Hi, Carrie. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're so welcome. Most motivational speakers, when they come on, they talk about all the things people should be doing, but I want to start mm -hmm. off with what they shouldn't be doing, because I saw something that you had put on social media that I loved, and it was the three things people should stop doing right now, starting with mm -hmm. feelings and emotions. Talk to us about why we shouldn't let them drive us. Well, our feelings and emotions are incredibly unreliable right? They're sort of designed to go up and down. And when we allow our feelings and emotions to drive our decision making, it leads us down really dangerous paths where we can make just plain bad decisions. And I know decision making is really hard for a lot of people. So if you're not relying mm -hmm. on your emotions, then what should you be relying on? We should be relying on our values, right? Those core values, the non-negotiables, the ones that no matter how much someone wants to try to influence us or twist us in some way, they simply cannot be moved. The challenge is most of us don't know what those values are. Yeah, that's, that's very true. So you say stop being ashamed of your truth. You know, we live in an Instagram world where everybody's putting out the best version of themselves. And um, sometimes it's really difficult to live up to that because it's not real. So don't be afraid to live your truth. If your truth is you're struggling at the moment, you need to let people know because you're not gonna be able to receive the help unless people know what the actual truth is. And how do you know if you are being authentic, your authentic self, what does that feel like? Well, you have to know what your non-negotiable values are. Otherwise, you're simply giving us a reflection of what matters to everyone else. So figure out what those are, those four or five values that simply cannot be changed, and then you know you're being authentic. Okay, the third thing people should stop doing right now, stop focusing on outcomes. You know, unless your name is Gandalf or Glinda, you don't have the power to control <laughs> outcomes, right? So we have to focus on what we can control, which is the deliberate intention that goes into making these decisions. If we focus on that and let go of the outcomes, we find that our happiness isn't tied to something that's out of our control. Okay. Well, I'd like to hear a little more about your book, Black Sheep. Uh, why the title? What does Black Sheep mean to you? I was in my mid-40s when someone finally explained to me why farmers don't value black sheep like the rest of the flock. And the reason is because a black sheep's wool cannot be dyed. So every black sheep is 100% authentically original. And when I heard that, I'm like, that is all I want to be in my life, what that 100% original creation I was made to be. Okay, well, I talked about tough love off the top, and I know you're going to give us a little. You say it's time for everyone to wake up. It is time to wake up. We have to stop winging it, right? We have to just get to the point where we are willing to put in a little bit of time to discover the things that matter most to us. And once we do that, we can wake ourselves up and start living with deliberate intention. Because I know a lot of people want to find a new job. They want to lose weight and stop smoking, whatever it is. And they have such great yeah. intentions, but not the follow through. Is that part of waking up? Yeah, what do you hold yourself accountable to when you don't know what's most important to you? So when that's a moving target, it makes it really difficult to stay committed. Okay, and purpose. You hear that word purpose a lot and say, follow yeah. your purpose, follow your dream. What if you're yeah. just like trying to get through the day and you don't know, what is my purpose? <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, we treat purpose like it's, you know, uh, Indiana Jones and we're searching for the crystal skull. Yeah. Uh, that is not what purpose is. Purpose is something we choose and it's an actual activation of our values. Okay, and so when you say to, to determine what your values are, what do you recommend just writing them down, have a little meditation session? How do you figure those out? There's several ways that you can do it. You can sort of take the Maslow deep dive into figuring out what their peak experiences have been over the course of your life. There are some online assessments out there as well. Uh, you can find them at the website uh, that we provide a free assessment for people to just get their sort of toe dipped in the water to figure out what those non-negotiable values actually are. Okay, well, thank you so much, Brant. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Yeah, we want to remind people about your book, Black Sheep, and we will put all the information on our website at katu.com, and we'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this. But first, here's the latest must-have gadget from Stacey Bell. The following segment.